Hi everyone, um, so this is my new series in which I'm going to be showing you what I get up to during my gameplay in Ark Survival Evolved. Now, as you can see, I'm on my raft and I totally misjudged this. I got stuck on these rocks here. Um, the, the sail on the raft does obscure your visibility quite a bit. Now, there is an option to take the sail down, so I'm going to have to experiment with that and see if the the raft still moves okay without the sail. Um, you can see on the raft there I also crafted some storage boxes so I can stash my loot whilst I'm out and about uh, because as we all know if you get killed then you lose um, everything in your inventory. Now you see, I don't know if you see that small thing falling from the sky just to the left there, that's one of the supply crates. Now they seem to drop near these large floating obelisks. Um, it seems a bit weird to me that it's all like very futuristic and I wonder if there's kind of some aliens or something going to appear in the future. I don't know but uh, so I've parked the crate. You see there where the light is um, that's where I've got to get to um, to the supply crate. Um, now I don't know if it applies to all of the supply crates but um, you certainly have to be uh, at least level 15 um, to get to one because I did go to one early on and I couldn't access it. So you just um, access the inventory. Now this one it's got some clothes and also some of these weird portal things. Um, this is obviously something for the future. If anybody knows anything about them do let me know in the comments. Um, when I did transfer them to my storage crates, um, well I transferred when I went to my inventory, these portal thingies weren't there so I don't know if it's to do with um, you just get a new engram, just not sure about that. So here's another supply crate. Uh, so does that mean that's 70 slash 100? Does that mean it's supply crate number 70 of 100? I'm not sure. So some more portal thingies. Um, well, I had to stop here because I was getting attacked by something and I couldn't actually see anything attacking me. Strange that, so I went back in and I think it was this one that was quite a good stash. Yes, there's, um, there were three standing torches, um, three storage boxes, a wooden sign and also a, a bed. I was really chuffed about getting the bed because it takes quite a bit of hide to make a bed. And those were the guys that were just attacking me and I don't want to get killed uh, whilst I'm carrying all this loot. So I'm just going to leg it back to my raft. So I'm just running um, back to the raft so I can stash the loot in the storage crates. Um, I find that running now I've levelled up my stamina, it doesn't really drain me too much and um, running is a good way of getting around to avoid being attacked. So here I'm back at uh, my base and I'm a bit concerned because there's this rather large Bronte and I'm worried he's going to destroy stuff. Now you see down there on the ground below I'm attempting to grow um, a crop. I want to grow some narco berries and I'm just worried that this guy is going to put his big foot on it and destroy it. I don't know if that is possible. I do know I got killed um, by a Bronte. I just got in the way and got trampled on. I think it may, I may have been slightly injured at the time. I don't remember. I was also concerned he was going to trample my lovely raft um, but he didn't in the end and then the same session he like walked towards my little wooden hut and he stood there with his foot up poised and I'm like is he going to crush it he was there for a long time but then he didn't so the next thing I did in my day was craft a parasaur saddle um, so this takes 80 hide so I managed to collect all the hide and craft that I don't have a tamed dinosaur at the moment. I did have one called Freddy, a parasaur, and um, sadly he got killed. Um, so that saddle is there now in my inventory, ready until I tame the next dino. Um, 
Now I'm just wondering where I'm going to place the bed I acquired um, from the loot crate. Um, this is the first bed I've crafted and it's my understanding, correct me if I'm wrong, they're not really for sleeping in as such but they're more used for fast travel and they also you can create um, a spawn point with them. So what I'm hoping is that by placing this there at my wooden hut, which is my main base, um, then um, when I die I should be able to choose to fast travel back here. So that should be handy. Now the other thing I, I did today, I got an engram for a bow. Um, so I crafted that. Now um, sadly I don't have the engram for the arrows as yet. Hopefully I'll get that um, tomorrow. Um, so looking forward to trying out the bow. Now this is the crop I'm uh, attempting to grow. Now I know you can get irrigation pipes but I'm doing this as an experiment without pipes. Uh, you can see, well I don't know if you can see that, um, the water level is 190 out of 200 and it's currently just being irrigated um, from natural sources from when it rains. It does seem to rain quite a lot here. Uh, the other thing you have to do is to fertilise it. Um, I don't have any proper fertiliser so I know this is a bit um, gross. Uh, so I did a poop and uh, picked up my poop and uh, use that as a makeshift fertiliser. Um, your own poop doesn't seem to fertilise it for very long so uh, what I'm going to need to do is um, collect some dino poop. I mean it says the fertiliser level is 985 there but it does seem to go down quite quickly. Now I went down the beach and I saw these two trikes and I'm like what is going on here? Is this some kind of mating ritual. Um, so I went up close, it's definitely one male and one female. Uh, they appear to be spooning. Um, so what I'm wondering is if I hang around these two guys for a little while will I get um, some dino poop to use as fertilizer? I'm also wondering if <laughs> if there would be any uh, dino mating action. I'm not sure if there is in the game or whether the Wild dinos produce offspring? Maybe not, I think that's just the tame ones. So basically I hung around here for a little while because uh, uh, I don't know how often the dinos poop but sure enough before long I got a, a nice dino poop to collect. Uh, so I picked that up and um, wondered if I should hang around a bit longer for the other dino to poop. Um, but he didn't and I thought, no, I'll just get back to, to base and uh, tend my crops. So quickly run back to base. Uh, this end of the island is, I'm really enjoying this. I mean, it's obviously single player, so I don't need to worry about any defences as such. And I've not had any problems with attacks from dinos here. The little ones don't seem to be able to jump up on the platform so once I'm up there I'm quite safe. Right so my fertilizer now has dropped to 300 and um, where is it in my inventory so I just add the dino poop and now my fertilizer level is at 7771 so, um, I don't know how long it takes. If you know anything about uh, growing crops like this, do let me know in the comments. Um, as I say, it's an experiment, so I'll be checking on my crops daily, because obviously narco berries is very important in uh, taming dinos. So I'm going to leave that there for today, and um, I'm going to make as many of these as possible. I hopefully will be playing most days, um, so there should be more videos in this series. So thanks for watching.